Our other top story, a Wayne State University student murdered as she left a friend's home overnight on Detroit's east side. Casey Lene Willis was a freshman at Wayne State. A young woman her family says had so much potential, so much life ahead of her. Victor Williams is live at DPD headquarters. And Victor, I know her family hopes somebody can identify the shooters. Yes, that's right, Steve. The family is absolutely heartbroken. Just like you said, this was a young woman with a very bright future, but it was all cut short senselessly and tragically not even 24 hours ago. This is a very, very tragic situation because we don't know why. Loved ones of 18-year-old Casey Lene Willis have so many questions after the teen was gunned down on Detroit's east side around 1 a.m. Saturday morning. The masked men assassinated our baby. They didn't just shoot a kid. They assassinated her. A neighbor's surveillance camera caught footage of a man in a white ski mask with what appears to be a semi-automatic gun unloading shots on Cardoni. Casey, who was in a friend's car nearby, was hit by one of the bullets and later died. I definitely think that that man knew what he was doing, and I believe he was, he was aiming it. He knew what he was doing. It wasn't random. Police are now trying to find the men involved, but the key to the investigation may be a person who was with the shooter that decided to run away after a few shots were fired. If anybody know who those people are, if y'all know anything that's going on, please reach out to us. The family is now pleading with the public for any answers they can find into why anyone would want to take the life of a young woman with so much to look forward to. Casey did not deserve this. Casey was a good girl. Great kid, great big sister, great little sister. Doing everything she can to do things the right way. And times usually meant for celebration will now unfortunately have a different meaning for Casey's mother. Today's our mama's birthday. Yesterday was Christmas. Birthdays and Christmas will never be the same for our family. And it's believed that those two men fled in a white Chevy Impala. So if you guys know anything about this, you're asked to leave an anonymous crip with Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. As far as the family of Casey, if you'd like to help them with this very, very rough and unfortunate time, you can head over to our website, click on Detroit for a link straight to their GoFundMe page. For now, we are reporting live downtown. Victor Williams, Local 4, back to you. All right. Thank you, Victor.